Shalom Mishpaha of Elohim. Pray everybody's having a Baruch day this day. I know we had a great uh, live stream with all y'all a little earlier. That was a much needed message from caregiver and Abba. Uh, I pray y'all enjoyed it just as much as we did. Today I'm going to read Mishle 5. I said last time I read I had four, five, and six. I was mistaken. I have five, six, and seven. And the crazy part about that is each one of them begins with my son. I thought that's pretty interesting. And it's the last three um, uh, Proverbs that I'm going to read. And then after that, um, it'll be a surprise. But before we get started, Let's bow our hearts. Abba Father Yahweh, we come before you to praise you and worship you and thank you for this day. We thank you for all the better how you bestow upon us, Abba, carrying us through each and every day, protecting us from the wiles of the wicked one, keeping us uh, blowing with your Ruach in the direction you want us to go. We pray for the eyes, ears, and hearts to see, hear, and understand the greater depths of your word this day. We thank you so much for your word, Abba. We just lift you up, praying through Yeshua HaMashiach Haradon, in the name above all names, Yahweh, Yahweh our Elohim, Yahweh Had. Amen. Proverbs, <clears throat> Mishle 5. My son, listen to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding so as to watch over discretion, discretion, dis, discretion, and your lips guard knowledge. For the lips of, stra of a strange woman drip honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lay hold of the grave. She does not consider the path of Chai. Her ways are unstable, you do not know it. So then listen to me, you children, and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Keep your way far from her, and do not let her, do not come near the door of her house, lest you give your splendor to others, and your years to one who is cruel. Lest strangers be filled with your strength, and your labors go through, go to the house of a foreigner. Then you shall howl in the latter end, when your flesh and your body are consumed, and shall say, How have I hated discipline, and my heart has despised reproof, and I have not heeded the voice of my teachers, and I have not inclined my ear to those who instructed me. In a little while I was in all evil, in the midst of an assembly and a congregation. Drink water from your own cistern, and running water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, rivers of water in the streets, let them be only your own and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be Baruch and rejoice with the wife of your youth, a loving deer and a pleasant doe. Let her breasts satisfy you at all times and be captivated by her love always. For why should you, my son, be captivated, captivated by a strange woman? and embrace the bosom of a foreigner. For the ways of man are before the eyes of Yahweh, and he considers all his paths. The wicked is entrapped in his own wickedness, and he is caught in the cords of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and in the greatness of his folly he goes astray. Well, wow. that was a good one. Lots of instructions and good advice. Always good, sound advice from our Abba Father, Yahweh. Well, Mishpaha, my family, Havarim, my friends, I pray that this has been a better hav to you this day. And Abba willing, uh, I'll be doing six tomorrow. Until next time, Shalom and a hav.